Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a cook and clean with me. I had a lot to get done this day just between cooking and cleaning. Um, we had plans for the evening, so I needed to do an early dinner and the house just needed to be picked up. So I decided to combine both, give you guys a little bit of cleaning inspiration and cooking ideas. These are some of our absolute favorite recipes and actually even after we we got done eating the meal that I'm going to be showing you in this video my husband said that is just one of the best meals ever <laughs> it's just one of those go-to's that I have done for a couple years now the first thing I did is I got started in the living room just picking up and vacuuming getting things kind of pulled together and all the toys taken to where they belong Hey guys, so I know this is a really funny, weird spot for me to be chatting with you, but I have to show you something. So I know for me, as a mom of little ones that I'm potty training right now, and those ages, having flushable wipes are always a great thing to have on hand. But they are not friendly to our pipes and septic systems, and tend to make us have to pull out the plunger more often than not. So I was really debating on whether I wanted to get more wipes the other week, and it's so crazy because in the same week, this company reached out to me and literally solved my problem for me. So I want to introduce you to Moonkiss Spray. And basically, the thing is just genius, especially for a mom of little ones, and it's perfectly safe for kids. So you're in the bathroom, you're doing your thing, or else your child is doing their thing, you go to grab a little bit of toilet paper, right? And you see that? coolest thing ever. So basically it just sprays your toilet paper. You don't have to clog up your pipes with disposable wipes anymore. It saves you money because you're using toilet paper you're already purchasing. So all you have to do is hover it underneath and it sprays. And the cool thing about this is it's also a hand sanitizer. Crazy perfect, I mean, come on. Especially whenever it's already safe for kids, your little ones, it just saves so much time and energy as a mom. The active ingredient is FDA approved, it's safe, effective, and it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So I just hooked them up with some command strips, nice and easy, not damaging anything, and you can refill this. They also have handheld sprays that you can throw in your bag and take them out and about with you. Of course, that's super important right now during this time. And you only purchase this unit once and then just refill. And like I said, as a mom that's potty training, something else that's really great is I can spray some toilet paper and wipe the toilet seat down. If you're a mom of boys, I know this is a total game changer. So if you're interested in trying out this helpful little gadget, check out the link in the description box and I'll also leave a coupon code there. All right, so now that I've shown you what this thing on the wall is, let's go ahead and get this bathroom clean. I started out by putting a toilet bomb in the toilet and as usual, if I can remember, I'll link below the video where I actually show you my recipe for the toilet bombs. They're really easy to make. And then I actually just went ahead and used the Moon Kiss spray um, to clean up the toilet and just wipe the seat down since it's already um, killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It's just easy to wipe things down if I'm not doing a super deep clean, which I wasn't doing a deep clean this day. I was just jumping through the house and trying to get as much done as I could. I also wanna say a big thank you to Moon Kiss Spray for sponsoring this video. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna take a little break from cleaning and get some dinner made. We're doing an early dinner tonight just because we have some different activities we need to get to. So I'm getting started early. So what I'm making for dinner is some chicken teriyaki kebabs, some garlic parmesan spaghetti squash, and our favorite broccoli salad. So I'm actually gonna be doing the spaghetti squash in the oven since I'm already going to be heating that up to do the kebabs. You can do this in the pressure cooker. There's a couple ways to make spaghetti squash. So the way I like to make it in the oven is I just cut it in half, take the seeds out, and then put it face down on some parchment paper on a cookie sheet, throw it in the oven. I think it's about 40 minutes at 400. That's usually how I remember. Um, and then take it out and I'll show you how I finished it up. So I'm gonna get this going before I start in on making the chicken and everything else up. Another option for the peppers is you don't have to put the peppers and the onions in the marinade, but I will say that since I started doing that, it's definitely a lot tastier and I feel like the peppers and onions cook up a little bit better with the added moisture of the marinade. So I just mix it all in the same bowl and then put it on the skewers. Another little tip is with the broccoli is I try to use my knife as little as possible and actually pull it apart with my fingers just because when you use a knife it tends to break apart the little tiny parts of the broccoli and make a huge mess. So use your fingers with the broccoli and you won't have as many little crumbs everywhere. All right, so I got all of the veggies all cut up and ready to go. And um, now I'm gonna take the chicken that I have here, it's three chicken breasts, kind of dice it up and put it in here. And then I'm going to put this teriyaki um, sauce that I found at Aldi. You can find teriyaki like marinades and sauces pretty much in any grocery store in the dressing aisle, I think. It's usually in the salad dressing area. So I'm gonna dump this in and mix it around with the chicken and everything and then put this all on bamboo skewers. And I'm going to be putting it on a cookie sheet in the oven and just doing them that way. You can do them on the grill, but today we're just in a hurry and um, it'll be quicker to do it all in the oven and then I'll be showing you how I make my broccoli salad. I know I'm probably going to get questions on how long I put the skewers in for because I didn't really mention it and it really just depends on how big your pieces of chicken are so I just put them in at 400 and wait until the chicken tips like the little tips of the chicken start to get kind of brown or even black like very roasted looking um, or just check the chicken periodically while it's cooking.
All right, so I've got everything in the oven and I'm ready to do the broccoli salad. And as you saw, Corey helped me out a little bit. He cut the spaghetti squash for me and got in and helped me do the skewers just because they take a little while and it's faster with two people. So what I'm going to do is put some mayo in the bowl. I don't have exact mixtures and I'm not going to give you exact because it depends on how much broccoli you have. So if I have to make up a little bit more, I will. So basically I just put some mayo in a bowl and then I put a pinch of some stevia and a few splashes of Worcestershire sauce. And I know every time I say this, people say how they say it in different different countries in the comments which is kind of funny um, how we, we some of us say it differently anyways so I'm gonna mix that up and then I'm also going to be adding some bacon so I got some bacon I'm gonna be putting in my air fryer and I'm gonna be shredding up some cheddar cheese to add to this as well So the spaghetti squash is done and basically once I get it out, I put a fork underneath of it, flip it over and you can pull it all away like this and you know that it's done. Whenever it's not done, generally there's spots in it that are still hard and you can't pull apart the like spaghetti part of it. If you're totally new to my channel, you know that I almost never buy pre-shredded cheese. I just think that cheese tastes so much better if I shred it myself and I know sometimes they put like flour or other added um, stuff into the bags of shredded cheese so that it doesn't stick together and so I personally think it also melts so much better whenever I shred it myself. All right, so to do up the spaghetti squash, I just put about half a stick of butter into the pan, and then I did about two cloves of garlic. I think it was a little overkill on the garlic, to be honest. I would do maybe one clove of garlic for a whole spaghetti squash, but I melted that all down together, and then I just put the spaghetti squash into the pot, and then I also put in some shredded Parmesan and mixed that around, and it was so delicious. And this is the part we all dread, right guys? <laughs> Cleaning up after the meal. But I tell you what, every time I push through and do it, I'm just so happy, especially the next day that my kitchen is clean and I can wake up to a clean kitchen. And like I said, this night we had appointments and other things that we were headed out to do. So it was so nice to come home to a clean kitchen. Let me know down in the comments what your biggest task for today is. What are you trying to get motivated for? Also, let me know what you're most thankful for today. I have been doing a ton of gratitude journaling, and I tell you what, it so changes my perspective, especially if I stick to doing it every single day and find things that I'm so thankful for, or even things that I'm really thankful for in my husband, things that he does for us that I am just so appreciative of.
Okay, so some people I know don't like to do this, but this is something that I do every once in a while, and I will get out a razor blade and go over my glass top stove. I have had a glass top stove for years and years. That's what I've cooked on the most, and that is the best way that I have found whenever it gets build up on it um, is to just go over it with a razor blade. Sometimes I take my Norwex cleaning paste and go over it if it doesn't have a lot on it, but this day it just really needed to be cleaned off super well, so I know that that will get almost everything off and then I can go over it with that polishing scrub another day. I know I mentioned this in my last cleaning video, but I thought it would be worth mentioning again because I don't know who gets to see which videos and I've gotten a couple questions about this lately and that is why I stopped using my spin mop. So I switched from using my spin mop to using my Norwex mop religiously just because it does remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria and germs and everything off of the floor surface, which I can rely on just I would rather that than be moving the dirt around with the spin mop so that's why I switched and to be honest I don't really miss it I like being able to just wash out the pad in the sink and then reuse it and then just wash my sink out After making our bed, just vacuuming our room, I went out in the dining room and got things picked up. By the way, a little tip for you guys, if you've been struggling with reading the word, getting in the Bible, I highly recommend leaving your Bible laying out on a place where you can see it. It just helps me so much, even if I'm just walking by and I read a verse or two, it just helps me remind me to get back into the word. But I just went in here, cleaned up things, and vacuumed. Well, I hope that this video inspired you guys. Leave me a comment below. I love reading them and getting back to the ones that I have time to get back to. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed, joined my channel, and don't forget to give this video a like. I will see you guys in my next video.